Love Devils. Jade all back to answer more goddamn questions. Picking up to where he left off in yesterday's fucking video. Got the same shirt on as yesterday, dog. Sure, motherfucking dude, bra, bra. Was in Vegas, missed several days. Dogs gotta do double time. Get caught up on these goddamn videos. So shoot more than one in one day. You still get your goddamn vid for the day. What, 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 what you paying attention when other bands weird, homeboy? Unless you checking it out. Like, who's that band? Write that down. Check it out. Dog approved. That's right, motherfucker. Other one, why? Shut the fuck up. Comment on another fucking dude. I don't know about you, dude. You going that way? Well, that's goddamn page key. I pulled the goddamn dumbass phone out now because I know I'm going to need it. Gotta hold, see what goddamn hoagies we got in today's video. We'll get to the hoagie second. I know they're goddamn in there. Hoag fucking style. Ham and cheese on that motherfucker. Side of mayo. Matthew Shots. Paid question. At least with these droughts since 1666. Fucking number of the beast, goddammit. Uh, what the fuck did he say? Cabinet. The, the, oh, so the band's cabinet <laughs> starting a new <laughs> starting a new goddamn fucking band called Table Cabinet claustrophobic dysentery. Hey, I just saw that you rolled on a band that I am in, and that's on my label. I rolled on them. What, is, what the fuck does that mean? Is that good or bad? Does that mean I, I talked good about them? I don't know what rolled means. Be a little more sorry. Bloody Mountain Records called. Oh yeah, the the, the Oreo band Oreo oh, Aramnos. Puts a parenthesis, American Mountain Goats. It doesn't make the name any goddamn cool. It cool. looks like goddamn Oreos, bra bra. Dunking those things in milk. I thought I'd throw this your way if you want to. Check out more recent solo death metal stall stuff called Cabinet. Rather not. I'm turned off already by the goddamn name, homeboy. I'd start here. Bloody Mountain Records. Dot Bandcamp. Send me the goddamn link. If you are interested, I have vinyls of the second full length. If you ever wanted to stock them on a health HH's site. Yeah, we'll stock them. I don't care. Do I have any interest in listening to them? Uh, not really. Um, but we'll stock them. Just contact hellsheadbangers at gmail.com. We're, we're Hellmart, motherfucker. I don't give a shit if I like it or not. We sell all those goddamn dumbass Nazi Ku Klux Klan bands. I think those goddamn bands lick balls. But if people want to buy it, this is a business at the end of the day. I don't sell just what we fucking like. If it was up to me, we'd be selling some Centurions, not the goddamn hottest seller. But yet we put that out in 2014 because I'm a goddamn super fan of it. So we do do some of that. But but to be able to do that, got to sell the dumbass shit that people fucking care about. So, yeah, if you should, I mean, but we stock it all. You will only take like twos or threes of cabinet. I, I tell you right now, just with that name, that ain't flying off the goddamn shelves. Um, but, yeah, we'll stock it. If it's death metal, extreme metal, if it's not the goddamn twin core dumbass shit, if it's real metal. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, got to remember, dude, we have over 50,000 titles in stock. How many thousands of those do you think I never even listened to, never have listened to, never will listen to, never care to listen to? Two-thirds, at least. I don't sit there and listen to everything. Like, yeah, I could care less if I like it or not. Uh, Bloody about Ben Order. Uh, get in to enter the cabinet. Ben Order from HH for years. And you got the email, homeboy. Hit us up. Chasey Boy does the sets up the trades. Hellsheadbangers at gmail.com. Hit him up, goddammit. Now, is he going to wholesale your shit? Fuck no, but he'll do trades. Uh, thanks for all your hard, hard work. Matthew from BMR. So what I get? Uh, Bloody Mountain Records. And bands such as Valder, Sex. I'll tell you right now, man, uh, at least for me, granted, I, I, I'm known to ha have an opinion that seems to be different than anybody else today. If I can't pronounce the band name, uh, that's already a goddamn turnoff. That doesn't mean I don't like it. It's just with the competition of today, with the oversaturation, get a goddamn sweet water. Goddamn thirsty as fuck. Bands such as, uh, yeah, sex, S X U P E R I O N. If I can't pronounce it, the oversaturation of bands, I'm already turned off like a motherfucker. Now, that doesn't mean if I hear in the background, I'm like, holy fuck, who the fuck is this? This is great. Then I won't, then I won't uh, pick it up or whatever. For example, the uh, ice band was it Imperial, Imperial Crystalline and whatever the hell it was. Jesus, fuck, what is this cover? The goddamn Care Bears and Ice. Granted, that's what it stands for. It's like that that wouldn't draw me in, but somebody recommends me like a highly like somebody that knows me. Like I think you definitely like this. All right, well, let's hear it in the shop. Jesus, motherfucking Christ, Care Bears. All right, I put it on and it was great, totally fucking great. Blasting that awesome goddamn black metal, you know. Like, but black and death, I guess. That to, to bands I could best compare it to is like Angel Corpse and goddamn uh, Early Impiety. Um, I thought it was very very good. Infernal War, shit like that. Um, 
So yeah, if the, if the tunes outweigh it, cool. But I'm just saying, out the gate, to, just to get me to check it out, you got a band called Cabinet, Duncan Oreos, and Sectarian, and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm turning off like a motherfucker. That ain't drawing the goddamn dog in. You better hope somebody that knows me recommends it. Highly recommends it. Says it smokes to you side, homeboy. Oh shit, smokes to you side. Fuck, I gotta get in on this. P.S. I also have CDs and cassettes in stock from, oh, again, Sex Sexuperian, however the fuck you pronounce that, and Cabinet. Plus new Valder and or, or, Duncan Oreos. Coming soon. Yeah, hit up c Dog, goddammit. He does the goddamn trades. We'll trade for it. Uh, I mean, we don't wholesale such titles. DSI Banished by Sin, that gets wholesaled, obviously. The big boys get wholesale. The Motorheads, the DSIs, the Black Sabbaths, the Cannibals, the Mayhems, the Bathories, the Emperors. That shit gets wholesaled. Newbies and stuff, you get trade for, um, gets trade uh, for it, like, um, for our releases. So, if you're into trading, Hit up Sea Dog, goddammit. That's his goddamn department. Dog can't do it all. Anyways, pulling up today's fucking videos. Oh, yeah, I peeked in the comments too. And oh my god, is there some dumb fucks in here? This should be a guy. This actually, this might actually be a good comment section. This is on the video Racist USBM Hillbilly Moonshine Drinkers are just as annoying as baggy pants, sideways cap, BDM crowds. Let me find these fucking retards that were in here like. Completely taken out of context. This guy supports. Then they go all political. This guy supports the left. And all. What the fuck are you talking about, sheep? I, I, when the fuck did that conversation come up, come up in the uh, conversation? I'm like, did, did you even listen to the video? Oh my god, the comments were so fucking stupid that I actually legitimately went back and re-listened to the goddamn video to hear. I was like, what did I say? Like, where the hell is this shit come from? I, I forget what I said. I recorded this over a week ago. Uh. Uh, well, I think this is the guy. I think this is him. Uh, hidden 3829. What's his goddamn user ID? With no fucking photo, naturally, goddamn it. Justin, was this video title written by Kamal? Kamala campaign? First off, dude, who? Now, all jokes aside, dude, you realize I didn't even know who the fuck that was until about two years ago. I'm not even exaggerating. That geezer ass fucking pants crap it, decrepit fucking piece of fucking shit we currently have a fucking office and granted they're all pieces of shit make no mistake about it that goes for your orange man too i did not even know what that motherfucker looked like until he was elected president i'm not even joking not even during the debates not even during it well yeah i, I didn't even know what the fuck the guy looked like didn't even know what he looked like oh what did, so what did he fucking say it was a kamal campaign again i was like what did i talk, talk about that no idea what he's talking like literally he had been listening to this shit on meth 20 beers in or with fucking earplugs in and just trying to pick out words. Like, oh, got, he's got earplugs in. He's got it on speaker. Like, I think that's what he said. Like, had to have. Because I, I ripped on his GBK. And I didn't, again, didn't even rip on him. Said they're possibly the greatest USBM black metal ever. Dude, you guys are so fucking dumb. And that is what kills me with these racist-ass hillbilly fucks. This is exactly why I don't like them. I'm telling you right now. Every single one of them I met, and I'm sure there's exceptions to rules, I'm sure there's intelligent ones, they are the dumbest motherfuckers I ever fucking met. And I'm not even talking about the fact that, of their opinion, they're entitled to their opinion, I don't give a shit who they like. Brown man, white man, Asian man, it's not, they're not dumb for that reason. Granted, I think they have an anger and opinion. They're dumb because I meet them and like, dude, now they're stupid as fucking other shit. I've literally have met them. I'll throw one name out there, the guy's dead. I remember at 16 years old, I'm like, this guy is so fucking stupid, he's practically would stick his goddamn tongue in an electrical outlet. That Raphael Greaves looked that dumb fuck up, eventually killed himself. He killed his girlfriend, then killed himself. I knew that piece of shit. He was the first person ever that me, Easy E, and Sea Dog met going to metal shows. Complete fucking high Hitler. And again, he's that tough guy when everybody in the crowd is white. But you walk out, and let's say there were some uh, some black guys outside. He damn sure would have. He, he, he untoughened up then, just like, not going to mention any names, but somebody I know extremely fucking well. You could do the math of who you think it is. But not somebody I just kind of met. Not somebody is, you know, we, we bumped elbows a couple times. No, extremely well in person. Has met the, the, the whoever the guy's name is, a goat moon. Again, a band I like, so chill the fuck out. Point blank ass him just to see what he's saying. Point blank ass him in person. Not through email, not through text. Are you racist then? No, no, not at all. And again, I don't know. That's what I was told. Maybe he's not. Why do you got Nazi flags and shit then? <laughs> Everybody says you guys are. 
Is it because he truly isn't and he's just singing about scary topics like the dog said is possible? Again, don't just jump to any conclusions. That's possible. Or is it because when you confront them, they're a fucking coward. That's the ones I've always written, coward. They're tough. Yeah, you're not tough when you're saying it when nobody's around, dude. Anybody can do that. Go in the ghetto. Pull Bruce Willis style fucking uh, goddamn Die Hard 3. Pull that. And okay, oh man, this guy's got some sack. He stands up for what he believes in. Do that. And then I'm like, okay, this guy's talking to shit. You're, they're all dumb as fuck, dude. And I can already tell that this is where this guy's going. He puts, how do you uh, reconcile selling extreme metal and then turn around and whine about racism? Oh, he spells it totally wrong, Grant, purposely because he doesn't want to do his think block. Uh, the progressive slant is cringe, dog. Dude, you're a fucking moron. Absolutely bubbles. You're bubbles, sloth from the Goonies, box of chocolate boys, goddamn fucking, uh, who are these other fucktards out there? Um, who are my other oh, goddamn references? For you? You're all that combined, man. What are you, t I wasn't complaining about at all about this. I was complaining about their crowd because most of those guys are fucking posers. They only listen to it because it's controversial. Yes. Switch to goddamn GB K Lairs to Denial of God or Cradle of Filth or whatever. Non controversial. Pick a band who the fuck you want. Don't give a shit. Switch their lyrics and switch their songs to non controversial. And I'm telling you, Argyl Slint, same thing. You're in this category with little horsies on the cover. Grant, I think their music's pretty good too. Listen to that new album. Oh, shit, it's actually pretty good. Uh, so, so no d disrespect there. But I'm calling the crowd out, not even the band. If that's what their beliefs are and shit, stand up where you believe in, motherfucker. I agree. Dog cancels nobody. I believe in freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and your freedom allowed to say it. Why do you think we sell this shit, homeboy? Because I, I don't cancel any of this crap. What I'm bitching about is their fan base. It's a bunch of fucking posers. How do you know, dog? I see the goddamn order, orders. It's not every single one of them. That's all they buy is that dumbass Klansman shit shit. They're not buying Denial of God. They're not buying sadistic intent. They're not buying nun slaughter. Okay, I get it. Uh, dude, I don't like that wigger ass dying fetus. Okay, I get that. But do you don't like other goddamn real metal? You don't like Hells and Holy Fire? You don't like Deceased? You don't like, fuck, yeah, sadistic intent? You don't like, uh, oh, the old school shit, Sacrifice, Torment, and Fire, and shit like that that I know your dumb ass doesn't fucking own? You're not buying actual real classic awesome goddamn metal. If you're buying that with it, fine. And some do. Those, fine. But a lot of them, 80% of them, I see it. It's just all the fucking goddamn, the, the, the Klansman shit. You guys are fucking posers. You're only buying it. You're not into the music. You're just into the message. That That's my problem with it. <laughs> you know, at least with these fetus guys and shit like that, they're stomping around and doing push-ups in the pit. They're actually at least getting down. They make like the tunes are annoying as fuck. And Dog absolutely wants to go spraying and flamethrowing and goddamn grenade throwing on them. And the goddamn crowds are annoying as fuck looking. Look like they belong at a goddamn Coolio show. They are annoying at that part, but shit, at least it's, they actually, at least well, they're faking it until they make it. Live wise, they look like they're goddamn, uh, not talking about the band again. Jesus fuck. I got to explain to these fucktards. I'm talking about the goddamn crowd. They at least look like they're into the music. At least they're there. I'm killing that. This guy, what, uh, <laughs> he replies back to. Yeah, then hit in the back. Yeah. Not trying to be funny, funny, Andy. He's replying to somebody else. They're replying to him. Oh, because he says, hey, Andy Zuleta, your attempt to be funny is cringe. And he said that, so he comes back, toughness, all tough, because he's in the comments. Type right, a right, tough guy. Hit in 3829. Not trying to be funny, Andy, all in camps. <laughs> now he's getting, like, ruffled. <laughs> Please explain how I could buy Marshall, Incensgiz, and other NS releases, all gay-ass shit that, yeah, we carry that. I'm completely honest. I've never literally listened to I love when these people come up to you. Why do you carry this? I'm on the... I'm in the middle. When you guys say they support racism, I don't really don't even listen to that dumbass shit. Well, why do you sell it? Because I, I believe in freedom of speech. And also, too, this is a getting goddamn shit in my fucking mouth. I believe in freedom of speech, freedom of expression. And at the end of the day, it's a fucking business. This shit sells. Of course you're going to sell it. What do you think? I'm a dumbass? God, I, I don't step over quarters to pick up hundred. I don't I don't step over $100 bills to pick up quarters. I mean, this is how I make a goddamn living, too. If they, they want to buy that dumbass shit over denial of God, that's on you, dude. Uh, whatever, pick it up. I don't care. It's a sales a sale. That's why we that's why we carry it. But I never be listening to dumbass shit. Nor do I want to. That, again, and I'm not bait. I'm not. <laughs> they can't do that. I own GBK. I own I own a uh, Milwaukee with Thrampus Thrampus. It's right behind me. LP and CD, homeboy. I own the new album. I own the demo LP. I own Vaginal Jesus. So I'm not against it. It's, it's, it, but the, most of the shit, those bands, I'm sorry, this NS black metal fucking sucks. It's not because the message, it's because they, they blow goddamn chunks. They don't, they don't know how to write riffs. Suddenly the dog, uh, uh, is other NS was, but suddenly the dog feels 
bad about the subject matter. That's why I went back and I'm sad. I want to feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. I just said that it's goddamn hillbilly shit. It's not that goddamn metal. And then majority of the people that buy it, why aren't you buying Repulsion Horrified? I know your dumbass don't own it. Now, maybe you hit in. Maybe you're an exception, in which case, cool. But a lot of them aren't. I'm telling you, majority of them aren't. Just like you can understand the analogy. Most people that buy Cradle of Filth, again, a band that Midian down, fuck face. I didn't say anything stupid after that. Even Midian, that's goddamn pushing it. Most of the people of that crowd aren't into real metal. Do you not agree? Being completely unbiased, use an example of a band I like. Cradle of Filth. Most people that buy them, they're not into metal. That is a safe assumption, right? That is what I'm saying about that NS black metal hillbilly crowd. You're not into fucking metal overall. You like some of these racist bands because of the message. But you're not into fucking actual metal as a whole. You're not sitting there jamming a goddamn Merciful Fate and Venom and Hellhammer and Sacrifice and Blood Feast and High Rax. You probably don't like High Rax because he's got a black guy. Exactly. That's wrong. Th there you go. Because I, I can't guarantee fucking see you some of those guys. That's their stance. I don't like Suffocation because it's got Terrence in there. But for whatever reason, these dumb fucks, I'll make an exception for goddamn blasphemy for whatever goddamn reason. The one band out of all the ones I just mentioned that has zero fucking riffs. Because they're all skinheads. Well, the, well, the one guy's black, so I don't know what the hell. I don't know why you give them a pass then. That again, th these people are so fucking stupid that they're one, one way street. Like they, they they make the rules as they go along. <laughs> so that's the problem. I'm calling you out just as much as the cradles. You don't legitimately listen to metal. You listen to a few metal bands that sing about racism, dumb shit. Cradle of filth. You like this one band. And then you're listening to dumbass ICP, fucking corn, slipknot, limp biscuits, fucking mud vein, and uh, um, uh, who's that other band that everybody keeps asking about in uh, recent times? Uh, like, well, do you like, uh, fuck, who is it? That goddamn dumbass band. Like, who, why the fuck would I listen to that? I had like five people in person ask me. The guy, the waiter guy, asked me at a Japanese restaurant. Uh, I don't know, come to me. This dumbass garbage poser, non metal, tweet cord trash, coal chamber. I understand most of the cradle of folk crowd listens to that. Yeah. They're not listening to Venom, Bath, Reversal, Fate for the most part either. Now, there's exceptions. There's some that do. Just like some of you hillbilly fucks. Dude, they're not true goddamn else. How do I know? Because I met some. And I see some that order. So I'm not saying all. If you're not, get all up and drawn straight down. What you saying? What are you talking about? I've been listening to Venom since fucking 82. And I like all the NS Black. Okay, then you're one of the exceptions to the rule. I'm not talking about the exceptions. I'm not talking about the outliners. I'm talking about the norms. The vast majority, homeboy. God damn, fix this camp. Halfway chopping off the goddamn dog's head. Man, with this fucking fucktard after saying for this goddamn. So stupid. Why am I even finish his goddamn comments? But suddenly, dog feels bad about the subject. I don't feel bad about fucking jack shit. Not to mention, it's conversation for this goddamn channel that all you guys want to talk about is what another man listens to, which blows my fucking mind, too. Or when it comes to the U.S. equivalent. What? What are you talking about? You see the hypocrisy here, don't you? None at all. Dude, there's zero hypocrisy on my side. I rip on all of them. I, I rip on the fucking uh, the brutal death metal crowd. I rip on the goddamn twink core crowd. I rip on the black metal crowd. I rip on stuff that I like. Dude, my, my nickname for Cradle of Filth is Cradle of Homos, and I like the band. Dying Fetus, massive goddamn wiggers, and I like the band. And when I say I like the band, that doesn't mean I just play it a couple times on YouTube. I own every album. I own every record. I, I rip on all this stuff, dude. What are you talking about? Rip on my goddamn self. So, of course, I'm going to rip on shit that I legitimately don't like. Hypocrisy. It's just You mean that band that you never fucking heard? First two albums, go to this fuck. Again, they gated up big time after that goddamn Oscar of Seno. Holy fucking shitsky. As soon as goddamn uh, Caligula left the band, Grant, I know his name wasn't Caligula in the band, but whatever the fuck this tough guy name was, Macy or whatever, and uh, Hypocrisy single. As soon as he left, goddamn, that band shit the fucking bed. Hypocrisy, don't be using that goddamn word. You don't know You don't know that band. <laughs> Get that shirt off, goddamn it. Get that clan's robe off. Man sells extreme metal, but not worried about racism. God damn, listen to the video. Fucking moron. Andy Zuletta, why do you care how anyone feels about buying crap anyways? Dude, 100% agree. At least you got the fucking message. And Andy's a regular watcher and commenter. She seems finally, somebody with some fucking brains watching around here. It's it's yours and enjoy it. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, then shut up or bootleg. Or I don't know. Sounds like a personal problem here, buddy. He's definitely got personal problems already, bruh, bruh. Oh, man. Commander Hidden's going back and forth. <laughs> I support the music in question, but when I buy LPs from a man for over 10 years and suddenly he is concerned about the subject matter, 
When was I concerned, homeboy? When was I concerned? Turn up that fucking hearing aid or goddamn, have mama come out and explain it to you. Have mom watch the video and, and, and reiterate it to your fucktard fucking special snowflake ass. I can't help but laugh at him. And trust me, dude, everybody in the comments is laughing at you. You got 20 goddamn replies and they're lighting your dumb ass up. And did you even see the Bayer interview? Bayer who? She was grounded so hard she had to change her last name to Floyd. Who the fuck are you talking about, man? Is that more sheep shit? All you guys voting and stuff? That's all sheep shit, man. If you vote, you're a sheep. You're not a wolves don't vote. What do you mean, dog? Dude, the election doesn't count. Are you that fucking dumb to believe it? Why do you think all the goddamn Trumpers last time? The election was rigged. He clearly won. He probably clearly did win. Dude, it's all fucking... Who says this? It's a drama, it's a game, and lastly, it's a fucking joke. Bonus points if you know that goddamn mom. That's the whole political system, dude. While they fuck you in the ass on the table. They know right now who they're putting in there. Why do you think they only give you two options? It would, if it was freedom and democracy, dude, you'd have like over well over 100 options. You could vote for your fucking dad for president. Well, technically you can. Well, technically that's, that's never going to happen. It's never happened. You got two options, dude. Why do you think that is? And they know who they want to put in there. That's not true. They would have never put Orange Man in it. Yes, they are. You're too stupid to realize it, dude. Because he's what started division, divide and conquer. You don't know that goddamn plan? It's been going on since forever, way before this, divide and conquer. Divide us all so that they could conquer and, and put their plan into place. Get it all that side wild up. Make them lose. Now get the other side fucking wound up and hating. And now we're back and forth now. At this point, man, they don't even give a fuck who wins. Because the other side's going to be fucking pissed. It's about us all fighting amongst each other. I'm telling you right now, dude, they are not counting up those votes. 100%. There is no doubt in my mind. None. I would bet everything I have on. I am that confident, just as fucking confident, that the Christianity religion is complete fucking fakeness. I am that goddamn confident they are not counting votes. This is a business. The country is a business. You think they're letting all you dumbasses in some fucking ghetto trash who literally has 10 fucking kids with 10 different guys? who's just smoking meth and never worked a goddamn day in her life, some goddamn crack whore who legally has a lot of vote. You think they're, because she's a lot of vote, you think they're taking her fucking opinion on how to run their multi-trillion dollar business? Do you honestly fucking think that that's going on? If you do, you are a fucking fucktard. Absolutely stupid as shit. There is no way they're doing that. It's going in the trash. It's just they have to keep peace because this country was built, and I would like to think that at one point it was a democracy and the votes did count, but I promise you the last hundred years, they're not counting that shit up. I can promise you since 1900 up, they are not counting that shit. Straight in the trash, they know who they want. It's all agenda. It's all behind the scenes, and none of us know what it is. All you guys that think you know what they're trying to do this, some of it's probably somewhat right, some of it's probably conspiracy, but none of us at the end of the day know what the shadow government's doing. That's who runs the shit, shadow government. So I'm sorry, sheep only vote. You are wasting your time. You're, yeah, I'm special. I got to tell them what I think. Good job, buddy. Guess what? They're just laughing at you, laughing all the way to the bank because that's all this goddamn uh, uh, country is, all countries. They're individualized fucking businesses or owned by big corporations. You are completely wasting your time. You, bah, bah, that's you, dude. You're all the way there, sheep. Wolves and lions don't fucking vote because we're too busy doing our own shit and we'll take the shit as it comes because the shit they're going to throw at us no matter what. We're getting fucked in the ass no matter goddamn what. Been getting fuck I've been getting fucked in the ass since the day I was goddamn born with this system. Half the crap I goddamn disagree. We all are. Paying taxes. Dude, do you think paying income taxes on what you make, that's fair? That's complete horse shit. Why the hell am I giving you money on fucking shit that I owe you, that I earned? My ass, my hard ass word was out there goddamn bailing that hay, shucking that goddamn corn 12 fucking hours a day. And I'm giving you a cut for what? You didn't even fucking do anything. So, yeah, you think we're getting screwed no matter what. They don't care about your opinion. So, yeah, bah, all your way to that goddamn booth. Dog's fucking... <laughs> this dumb fuck fell for it. Wasting your time, homeboy. They already know. Wolves don't care. And this is a fucking wolf. Unchain this motherfucking wolf, goddammit. Cops, Mr. Sears, you know what we're going to do. But the guy's here for the morning. Later, goddammit.